are many community choirs sharing Christmas cheer around us, but there's one with a unique purpose. New specialist Aaron Koch shows how music gives a gift not only to those listening, but to those singing as well. It's that time of year when the gift of music brings people together. We're all in the same boat. And these friends share singing and laughter because it helps take their minds off of what they're dealing with. People don't want to use the word Alzheimer's. Rebecca Raybould used to bring her mother and father to the choir. Everybody knows. Now she takes her brother-in-law, Owen. Do you like coming to the choir? I live for it. <laughs> <laughs> I think you do. It's okay. <laughs> Owen uses humor to hide his diagnosis. I'm sorry, I forgot I was elderly, so... <laughs> The choir started in 2018 as a way to help dementia patients connect memories. There's all these things we lose, but we don't lose music. Emily Christensen, who started the Gleeful Choir, has watched the gift of music bring life to those who sing. When you see how intently everybody is focused just on, on those little things like Cut off here, don't run your S into the next word. All those little details that are pretty high level cognitive tasks, they can do it. The choir went online due to the pandemic where they learned to move to music through Zoom. You're up close to everybody's face. So lots of laughing and joking and, and getting to know each other. For the first time in a few years, this holiday season, They've been meeting in person every other week. These groups are a lifeline, especially the caregivers. If there's no cure for a disease, it's kind of hard to talk about it. So they don't talk. They sing. A dementia diagnosis isn't the end. Like you can still go out, you can still learn new things, you can still make new friends and do, try new experiences. Music that brings the gift. We're living with this, we're not dying from it. Of memory. You should have fun and enjoy. <laughs> The choir meets in person every other week, and it's free and open to all. Before the pandemic, they performed quarterly. I'm told they're tentatively planning on having their first concert post-pandemic in the spring. In studio, Aaron Cox for KSL 5 News.